Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to The Bus. The Bus is an absolutely fantastic little game uh, from TML. We've covered it on the channel before, but we've seen recently a new update which brings new buses. That's exciting, isn't it? Now if you already own this, you don't have to pay for any updates. And if you go out and buy the game, you get them included. I don't think they put the price up of the game. So yeah, it's a free update, which is really, really welcome. Now, in order to get that, you just download it from your betas. And uh, really, really straightforward. There's been a couple of little updates here, actually. Uh, so you'll see we've got the E-City Bus, the MBE City Bus. There you go. Look, you see, this is a lot easier, isn't it? A lot nicer. You can actually see from the menu what bus you're picking. We've also got, if we click MB E City Bus, you've got a couple of different versions. So we've got a two door version, which is what BVG actually run. You can also have a three door version with no wheels. Yep, not entirely sure what's happened there. Didn't happen before, so uh, little bug. You've got the uh, the three door version. These are all fictional, but nevertheless, really, really welcome. And you've got a four door version there. So uh, today we're going to use the two door version because they actually have these in Berlin. We didn't manage to get on one. I can't even remember if uh, cause we had a week in uh, in Germany, in Berlin, from the 3rd to the 10th of December 2022. And uh, yeah, I can't actually remember seeing... Uh, well, we did see them, but I didn't get a photograph of one, I don't think. Uh, so we are going to use 19th of December, there we go, 12.45, we're going to be on the Route 300. And uh, precipitation, let's have a little bit of snow. Now, uh, of course, you get the usual, be careful, it's early access, you might get low performance, it might crash, but uh, we're hoping that none of that will happen today, and uh, we'll hopefully have a really successful trip on this new bus. So uh, here we are at Warschauer Straße, you've got the uh, the U-Bahn, the S-Bahn lines over there, etc, etc. There's the road here that should have some trams on, I'm pretty sure. Don't know if, has it, has it got trams? I can't see any overhead wires. There's some uh, building work going. Maybe they've fallen down and they're, uh, they're putting them back up. But here we are with the Isitaro. It looks absolutely brilliant, doesn't it? Really, really nice add-on uh, for this game. Let's, uh, let's go inside. We can't walk through here. I'm obviously too fat to fit through that gap. Christ alive, if I can't fit through there, I need medical help. Let's get in the bus. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get the door shut so we can hear ourselves think. And uh, yeah, really, really nicely modelled cab. Of course, you've got no uh, Mercedes branding on at all. Again, this is probably due to licensing. The ticket machine is uh, vastly improved. We've got an Enviro 500 on here. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, so we'll put our pin in. 1833. Yep. Okay. Uh, we're on the 300 and it's Tor 10. Brilliant. Okie dokie, Essen, U-Bahnhof, Warschauer Strasse. Not far from where we were staying, actually. Uh, we'll get both sets of doors open. I know that they're actually meant to, if we flip outside, they're meant to board at the front, but then through COVID, they kind of decided that actually you could get on at any door. Mine. And uh, yeah, it seems to have stuck. Oh, flipping heck, someone wants a ticket. Right, what do you want? Uh, you want an AB? How do I sell a ticket? There we go, AB. Uh, single ticket and he's paying on his telephone so we'll uh, we'll click card terminal oh my god what's happened to your hand oh he's got gloves on I thought they'd uh, they'd use Texas from Call of Duty shot. zombies flipping heck uh, right single ticket ABC how do you go back can we can we go back yeah there we go ABC single ticket and he's paying on his telephone seems like quite a, a lot to do doesn't it really uh, the, the ticket machines, apparently they're very realistic, but it just seems a little bit like there's a there's a lot to do to, to get, you know what I mean? Right, we'll start the engine. The engine. It's an electric bus. There's no engine. Uh, we'll get you there. Parking brake on. And away we go. Let's, uh, and already this behaves a lot nicer than the Scania. The, uh, you can gently put your foot down. It doesn't lurch forward. The sounds are very uh, electronic, aren't they? And what we're going to do is we are going to go outside and we're going to get the camera tool. There we go, because I've never used this before. Uh, but we are actually going to get a nice little shot of that. Look at that. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Capture a screenshot. And I don't know where that's... Oh, I do know where that's saved. That's, uh, that's down there. Let's have a couple. We're, we're going to be spending quite a lot of time getting screenshots on this. That's not going to work. My God, what's that noise? Right, there we go. Have a little bit of wipers on. This is fantastic. This is much nicer to drive. You can gently put your foot down. And uh, I don't know if we're going to see a performance. Uh, you know, I don't know if we're going to see it slightly different because, of course, it's in the snow. 
We've not skidded around any corners yet, but uh, yeah, really, really, really nice. I'll have a little stop here. That's really nice. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, there we go. Get them both open. Are people actually getting off? It's literally around the corner. In the time you've waited for the bus, you could probably have walked it. Hi. Yeah, sorry everybody, I'm making you uh, I'm making you walk round the round the doodads, aren't I? Departure twelve forty seven. How am I early? I guess this bus is just fantastic. Right, there we go, we'll have a little uh, little pop out there. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna be driving from now on. I'm hoping uh, that they do bring the Scania in line with this. Because I like driving the Scania, but this is just so much nicer. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've always kind of, like, I've only really played this game on, um, on YouTube. I've never really played it for, um, you know, just sat here. I've, I've never sat at home and thought, do you know what, I'll just go for a little spin round Berlin on the bus. I don't tend to do that. If I'm off to drive buses, I tend to, uh, I tend to play OMSI because, I mean, it's OMSI for crying out loud. But, uh, but you know what, I think I might just be spending a little bit more time on the bus. Might just be. Oh, you're just pulling out, aren't you? Obviously saw that it was a bus. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still a couple of things that need improving. They're all on the list. Uh, one thing that I'm really, really looking forward to is the AI buses feature. It'd be quite nice if, I mean, because we can get out of this bus and walk around. It'd be great if, like, uh, Bus Simulator 21, you could get off your bus, press a button and say, I, I don't want this anymore, and a, a driver will come and take over uh, the route. But it'd be really nice if you could just walk up to a driver and, and click the bus and say, I want to take this one. Wouldn't that be brilliant? That'd be really nice. Ooh, hang on, there's a stop here. We've got a little, uh, we've got the little yellow symbol. And we'll try and stop. There we go, look at that. We'll try and stop so he doesn't have to walk around bollards. In fact, that's a, that's a pretty half-decent stop, isn't it, really? There we go. Are we all? Uh, we're all happy. We've got a little uh, little camera there. Oh, hang on. Didn't want you to do that, but we've got a little camera there, so we can see uh, if the mirrors. I don't know why you'd need that camera. Well, of course it, it helps a little bit, but I mean you've got a mirror there. Why not just use that? I'm sure it's it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, isn't it? Uh, right. So we are. Say we're two minutes late. Why are we two minutes late? Says that on the uh, on the ticket machine plus two thirty. I thought we were early. Are we? Uh, are we? Are we not? I don't know. Oh, I like how it tells you. Oh, hang on, that must be early plus two minutes. So we're two minutes early. Right. Okay. So minus would be late. Oh, that's different to OMSI, isn't it? Flipping heck. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, isn't it? And of course, where we are now is we're at the East Side Gallery, so you've got the uh, remaining section of Berlin Wall there. We uh, we didn't walk down there this time, I don't think. Or did we? Yeah, I think we... Yeah, we did walk down there this time, sorry, I tell a lie. Because we ended up at Warschauer Strasse. Oh my lord! Help, brakes are good. Bloody TML pulling out in front of us. Uh, yeah, we did walk down here this time, because we, we aimed to Warschauer Strasse. It was on Sunday night, actually, the first Sunday we got there. And uh, the... the 300, we'd aim to get a 300 back down to our hotel, and um, anyway, it goes to every 20 minutes, it's not every 10 minutes on an evening, especially not on a Sunday evening, and uh, we ended up, like, just missing one, so we're like, oh, sod it, we may as well just walk back, haven't we, rather than, uh, you know, rather than standing and waiting for the next one, but still, really, really nice, I, I encourage, oh, you can just see the TV tower down there, the, uh, in Alexanderplatz even. Yeah, if you've not been to Berlin, just make a point of going, whether it's for the Christmas markets, whether it's in the summer. It doesn't matter when you go here, it's a wonderful, wonderful city. And if you love your transport, you're going to love it here too. can assure you. can absolutely guarantee you. And also, there's a little bit more traffic than there used to be. I'm sure they've, they've added the traffic density, haven't they? We're actually on time now, by the looks of things. We've got a little green arrival in the corner. thing is, is most of these are bendies, and uh, they've got a lot of things to add if they actually want to keep up with the uh, with the Berlin buses, because, I mean, they haven't ordered as many uh, as many Citaros as I think maybe TML thought they were going to, because they've got a lot of Citaros in, uh, in BVG, lots of Mercedes in general in Germany, uh, but I think 
it might have taken them by surprise a little bit when they ordered all the Solaris Urbinos, because most of the electric buses in Berlin are Solaris Urbino 18 and Solaris Urbino 12 electrics. Uh, so I'd like to see one of them. I don't know, I've not seen one on the cards, maybe uh, for the full release of the game. Maybe they'll release it as a DLC in the future, of which case I'd absolutely pay for it. There we go, out we come. Yeah, I'd absolutely pay for that, uh, but Solaris have been no 18s. Love to see one, because that's what this route generally is. Ah, right, you can see we're coming up to the Intercity Hotel. Oh, don't pull out! Oh, do we do we have a horn sound? No. Okay. Do we have uh, do we have a, a horn to click? That's annoying, isn't it? There's no horn sound. I don't know what pressing G does. Oh, it does the aircon, doesn't it? Can't look out if it's on or not. Yeah, you've, you've really kind of knackered us there. I could have turned right. Could have been in the correct lane. Yep, yeah, there's there's some some lights down there. Ooh, do you know what? While we're waiting, and I know it pauses the game, so it really doesn't matter, does it? But we're going to have another... We're going to have another screenshot. Look at that. Oh, it's lovely. Brilliant. Let's have another. Oh, come on. Do these buses not have horns? Yeah, that's it. Get moving. We're late now. Apart from the fact I think we're early. There we go. Right, off we go. Foot down. Hell, it uh, gets a shufty on. Wow! Flipping Nora. Right, round we go. Osbarnoff. This is uh, this is the station that we stayed at. Well, we didn't stay at the station, obviously, uh, but we did stay in a hotel near the station. You can actually see uh, the station, the hotel, sorry, that we stayed at. Got plenty of bus photos. I don't think you get up here. I think, whoa, hang on, I've let go of my steering wheel and it's flying off. What nurse earth's happening there? Yeah, I think that these ramps are a little bit steep. If I had to really nitpick in this area, I think the, the ramp, we wouldn't have got up there, up that ramp without ferry lift. I think it's just a, a tad steep. Like the whole station, because it, it goes down another ramp at that end. It'd be quite nice if they just moved the station down a little bit so that, that hill wasn't quite as sharp. It's minor. It really is minor. Uh, but it's just a little bit a little bit steep. There you go. You can see the uh, the red hotel on the left that we stayed in. The Ibis at Osbarnoff. Really nice hotel. Friendly staff. Basic. You know, it's, it's never going to win awards for the most luxury hotel in the world. But it does the job. Oh, you've got an S-Bahn train, look, you've got an S-Bahn train! I hadn't noticed that, have they, have they done that since the update? Flipping heck, that is awesome. I think last time we drove down here you had um, the Bombardier Talent 2s, was it? Yeah, Talent 2s that they have. Uh, but I wasn't aware that they'd added S-Bahn trains, that is awesome. Oh, I'm loving this, Mine. absolutely loving it. Hey. I like as well that not as many people buy tickets. Because you don't really see a lot of people buying tickets on the bus. There we go. Everyone's fine. Go around here. There we go. The Ibis at Osbarn off in front. We actually stayed kind of round to the sides. So we were looking out over this route here. It actually made me realise that in all the years I've been coming to Germany and staying at this hotel quite a lot, I've never walked over that bridge. Never. Never, there's a bridge here. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, uh, the, the, yeah, there's a bridge there. The, the whole world ends, actually. That's, uh, yeah, extend it a bit down there, guys, so that we can't see the end of the map. Uh, but yeah, there's a bridge over the spree there. Never walked down there. Right next to the hotel, never done it. I wonder what's down there. Right, here we go. So, of course, we're turning right here when the car can be bothered to, uh, to get a rear in gear. The, uh, the, the chap. The ample man is lit, so people can cross. We have to give way to them. So it's like the whole right on red thing that they had in uh, in America. But this is like right, you're turning right, you have to give way to uh, pedestrians. And you think, like, if we had that in Britain, it would just never happen, would it? But uh, in Germany it works really, really well. Or in Berlin it works really well. Flipping that can't bring a double-decker down here, can you? We're going past our head offices there, the BVG head offices. And we're on our way to Janowitzbrucker now. That's, uh, if you're familiar with your S-Bahns, that's the next S-Bahn stop down here. You can also change onto the U8 uh, at Janowitzbrucker. 
which uh, yeah you might oh look there we go is that a, a talent too well it's it's not but a, a, I think it's posing as a talent too it's a, a really weird EMU from somewhere else in Germany it's not a Bombardia talent uh, the RE regional barn on oh, regional express sorry and there we go so we're uh, yeah we're off to Phil Harmony should have said that Phil Harmony oh, you can see that train in front Bus stop. Oh, don't forget to stop, Joe. Flipping heck. Too busy looking at the trains. But I think the fact I was on about the Solaris Urbinos earlier, wasn't I? The fact that you get a bendy electric Citaro is probably, you know, that's going to be a good stopgap, isn't it? You can still drive an electric bendy bus. Okay, it's not the right one, but hey, free update to a game. Well, I suppose it was always the intention that it would feature this, wouldn't it? It's still in early access, this game. Uh, which means that every now and then it chucks you a curveball, but uh, but hey, I love it. I genuinely love it. I don't have a lot of criticisms. Janowitzbrucker, that's our next stop. I'm hoping they'll add cyclists as well. I've I've not looked on the uh, on the agenda as to whether they're going to add cyclists, but uh, yeah, in Berlin, in particular, there's a lot of cyclists. It's very cyclist friendly. You can see we've got a cycle lane there. Uh, because yeah, one of the main things, one of the, it's a challenge, isn't it? In, in, when you bus driving, cyclists they do make it particularly difficult. Not their fault, but of course they're a lot harder to see than I don't know a BMW taxi that's right in front of you. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to have your wits. Well, you have to have your wits about you, don't you? I'm just rambling on now, but uh, yeah, I'm just loving my time in fictional Berlin here. Right here we go, Janowitz Brucker. Change here, everybody, for the U8 and S-Bahn services. Regional trains don't stop at Janowitz Brucker. Okay, it's Ostbahn off, and then next stop, Alexanderplatz. Here we go, right, okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's have his doors open. Flipping hey, oh, at course you can, love, right, what do you want? Oh, you're paying in ca Why is the V... Oh, because I shut the doors. Right, so you want... What do you want? Oh, how do, how do I sell a ticket now? Uh, like that. There we go. Uh, right. 24 hour ticket AB. AB. 24 hour ticket. £8.80 in cash. 10 and you want 21. That was painful. <laughs> Purely my own fault. What I need to do is click back when I sell a ticket. There we go. You kind of expect it to do it for you, don't you? that it had just reset to the ABC menu every time, but you have to do that. So I'll have to make a real effort when we sell a ticket to remember to press the back button. What's this? Alexander Strasser? Cleverly named, with it going to Alexander Platz. Now I think that parking looks pretty decent, but actually it's quite a thin bus. I'm used to driving the city-wide. This is a lot thinner than the city-wide. So yeah, remember to park a bit closer to the curb, Joe. I've still not quite... Uh, got used to the uh, got used to this bus yet? All right, off we go. Foot down. Hey, it shifts this thing. Flipping heck! Yeah, you could drag race in it. There we go. We'll uh, we'll brake slightly. Of course, this is going to really come to life when there's AI buses. It really is. It's going to be brought to life. AI trams as well. It, it, that's just something in Berlin. There's just always buses and trams, no matter where you go. I mean, if you go in the west, you don't see so many trams. But yeah, there's just buses everywhere. So it's really going to bring it to life, I think. Media marked on the left-hand side. All using the correct brands as well. I like that. Right, we're pulling in here, sir. Thank you. Please don't hit me new bus. And we're going to go just round here. There we go. It's got Alexanderplatz straight in front, actually. You've got the park in by Radisson. There's, uh, there's a, a Galleria just there. It's a shopping mall, shopping centre. Saturn. Oh, it's brilliant in there. If you like your computer stuff, technology, go in Saturn. Flipping it. It's just floors and floors and floors of electrical gizmos. Here we go, round the corner. Oh, hang on, are we stopping at this next one yet? Yeah. Let's pull a bit closer. Lovely. 
Oh, that's much better, isn't it? I think they need to up the frequency of the S-Band, because there's like an S-Band every flipping two minutes, isn't there, down here? So it would be nice if, I mean, it's not critical, and, you know, it's, I, I really don't want to be listening to that, thinking, oh, your pit's faulting absolutely everything. It's not, it's just, it would be quite nice if you saw a few more of them. You know, they've added the feature. Use it. Oop, flip down. Come on, let's go. Yeah, when you get your foot down, how fast does this thing go? Oh, we're speeding, hang on. Yeah, we better, better slow down. I, I think we can just drive across this, can't we? A lot of snow, so we'll be, uh, we'll be really careful. Heck, sir, please don't just step that close. You nearly got hit by a bus then. Do you know? Hi. There we go. Doors are a shutty. I know we're a little bit early, but it doesn't matter, does it? Right, okie dokie. Oh, hang on, where's the camera going? What are we doing here, then? Are you trying to get in? Well, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to make it deliberately difficult for you, because I'm in a bus. Can we, can we open that? Can we? No, can't open that? That's a bit disappointing. No function to open your window, stick your head out and go... Pfft. Stick your tongue out at him. Not worse, I suppose you could do worse, but you know, family show this, we, we wouldn't dare suggest you did worse. Oh, bus lens on the... Oh yeah, of course, but we want to go right. They're doing quite a bit of work down here, actually, at the moment. Dug all the road up, I don't know what they're doing. Well, obviously making it better somehow. Digging it all up, but, uh, but yeah. Wonder what the plan is in the long run. Problem is with uh, with a city like Berlin is these guys have done their absolute best to recreate it and they've done a flipping good job. They've done a really good job, haven't they? Uh, I mean, I think they have anyway. But yeah, they've done a really, really good job. But it depends how they're going to do it. Are they going to keep up with the changes? Because I mean, the TXL was the first route on this, and it's gone because Teagle Airport's shut. So they don't use the TXL anymore because there's no need to go to Teagle Airport. So already, you know, they've had this this game has been out what. Was it 2020 this came out? And already it's uh, it's out of date, sort of speak. Everybody off. Oh, sorry madam, nearly caught you in the doors. Hello. Hello. Unlike OMSI, they don't tend to whinge about absolutely everything. That's quite nice, isn't it? They just get on the bus. Oops, we're off down to Harkisha Mark tonight. Oh no, we're not. We're off to the left. If we carry on straight forward, we end up at Harkisha Mark. Because the trams just come flying down here. And uh, and they make a right turn. That's Harkisha Mark just in front of you. Uh, it's an S-Bahn station. And we're, uh, we're turning left towards the Brandenburg Gate now. I don't think we quite get to the Brandenburg Gate on this, do we? We'll, uh, we'll, we could go flying down the tram tracks, couldn't we? Do you reckon anybody ever has just taken a wrong turn or not quite turned in time and just gone sailing down there? No, hang on, we're in the bus lane, but we don't need to be. Well, uh, I should really have looked at my mirrors. There we go. Museums in Zealand, Museum Island. You can see the museums there. You can actually go on a really, really nice from Hackershire Mark further up. It's not Akasha Markt, I'm lying to you, it's Friedrichstrasse. Uh, you can go on a river cruise. I probably wouldn't advise going on the river cruise in, in this weather. It's a little bit cold to be sat outside, isn't it? But in the summer, if you do go to Berlin in the summer, go to Friedrichstrasse and hop on one of the river cruises. It's absolutely fantastic. And because they're in English and German, there's so much that you can learn about, you know, the area around you. It's lovely. Right, there we go, doors are shutting. We're three minutes early. Do you remember last time? I, I seem to remember we couldn't keep on time if our life depended on it. Whereas now we just seem to be, you know, just racing along. I'll drive slower. It's because this bus is so fast, isn't it? There we go, we'll, we'll just plod. Oh, and the game has crashed. Flipping heck. That's no good. Right, should we try and get it restarted? Right, so we're here at Museum Inzel, and uh, yeah, we'd better get our bus started again. It's a different bus, I think. Oh no, 1816, same bus. Right, yep, let's get it started back up. Hang on, shut that door. Get the bus logged on. Yeah, hello. Why are you, why are you doing that? Oh, because I've 
I've changed my view. I've closed the doors. 9547. Yep. 300. And for some reason we're tall two now. I don't know quite how it works that one out. But, uh, but there we go. Right. Doors are opening. Oh, you want a ticket, fucking heck. Right. Hang on. Uh, right. We want to go... Arrived. Yeah. Single ticket. Berlin ABC. No. Back. ABC. Single Hi. ticket. How are you paying with the telephone? Lovely. Brilliant. Hi. You want a ticket as well? My goodness me. Uh, single ticket, ABC, cash. Lovely. Thank you, madam. And away we go. Oh, no. For some reason, what's happening now? It's, uh, it's decided that I don't have a steering wheel. I do have a steering wheel. Why are you... Why are you not? Right, hang on. Absolute left. Back to the middle. Oh no, it's... Uh, yeah, my steering wheel has completely died somehow. The game has booted me out. And now, I mean, you can see that my steering wheel is there. Yeah, Thrustmaster T300RS. But it's not picking it up at all. Which is a little bit strange. Okay... Right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do, uh, but discard that, is we will just kind of, how do you, how do you set off? Off we go, no, that's not it. Parking brake, yeah, so I can, I can do it with the arrow keys, I was just going to drive to Brandenburg Gate, but we, we don't seem to have a, no, okay, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's happened with that, it's completely, uh, booted me out, I can't even use the keyboard to accelerate, if I change the, the mouse... Disable? Yeah, you, you're still not having it, are you? Goodness only knows. Well, that was the bus. I think that's a, uh, a pretty all right time to end it now. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Like I said, should we, uh, should we step away? Actually, no, let's go in the bus because then we can actually hear ourselves think. Uh, that is the bus uh, with a new update. I'm not entirely sure it's working correctly. That might be my hardware. I don't think it is, but yeah, I can't understand why I've been booted out. It's just all a bit weird, isn't it? But uh, but hey-ho. Overall, generally, 100% positive, apart from the fact it's not. 95% positive, we'll say. Fantastic bus, fantastic route. Just a shame about a few little bugs, obviously, which has caused uh, a crash. Hopefully that can be sorted. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, we will be coming back to this, because, I mean, it's brilliant. So do subscribe so you never miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.